Afternoon Express where we are celebrating all things curry. Being born and raised in Durban, you know that's my favorite <laughs> chip, Jay. It's your favorite, it's my favorite. I think it's South Africa's favorite. We're actually literally about to cook up something that truly does have a place in South Africans' hearts. Yeah, no, for sure. This is our masala steak sandwich. We're going full house today. We've got eggs, we've got chips, we've got cheese, tomato, and of course, we've got Kasi Magic. Well, the sky's the limit. I mean, who does not love a curry? And in South Africa, there are as many different curries as there are cultures. And it doesn't have to always come served in a plate or in a bowl. Sticking to the theme of curry today, we're going to show you how to add a magic touch with a perfect masala steak sandwich. Now, it looks good. The colors are popping. How do we make this? So you're going to go in with your your onion, your garlic, ginger, we've put some green pepper in there just to add a different flavor element, some freshness in there. I'm gonna go straight in with my chili flakes, girl. Mm -hmm. I made sure I brought the chili today. And two big tablespoons of a red masala. And then we're just gonna cook that down for a second. Okay. Now, Chef Jay, what makes the perfect masala steak sandwich? <laughs> I think for a masala steak sandwich, it's low and slow. Okay. You gotta get that tenderized steak nice and falling apart. You know, so you can really take your time with it. I think that's the, the key element of this. I love that. And it's definitely sizzling up. I can already start. You know, this is what they say, that cooking is a sensory experience. You need to hear the food, you need to smell it, you need to see it, and of course, taste. No. We can already see the color is truly coming out in that masala steak. The sizzling is definitely happening. I can't wait to taste it. But now it's time for me to play and assemble. Yeah, so like I said, girl, this is a full house version today. So you're getting everything in one bite. And you can literally pick your favorite. Pick your favorite toppings, and of okay. course, pick your favorite Kasi Magic sauce. So you can see, Pali, we've pre-toasted our bread. That's a quick and easy way to make sure that it stays, you know, nice and crisp. But I think there's something familiar about having a soggy masala steak sandwich. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know about you, but that was just the joy of eating it. <laughs> like, you know, you know, it came wrapped up in foil, all hot and fresh. A little bit of sogginess, but it just reminds me of home, you know. It reminds me of my childhood memories, having this on the side of the road, you know, with my cousins. Um, so I don't know about you, but toast your bread and it will, be, it will be all good. I suppose that making this masala steak sandwich is also just such a perfect way to make use of some of those leftovers. No. A lot of people that might have like made a delicious steak for dinner the night before, or maybe have, uh, you know, cubed it and added it to a stew, and there is something left over. Don't throw it away, don't discard it. This is a lovely lunch option. I would even start this with breakfast, because we got, we got the eggs. <laughs> we got the <laughs> eggs. It's, it's, what I love about it is that there's anything for everyone. You know, there's something for everyone, everyone, and great to get the family involved. Everyone build your own masala steak sandwich. And I love that idea about the leftovers, Pali, because what you could actually do is use that meat and fast track the process. Because the meat is cooked, it takes less time to, to get tender and soft, you yeah, know? And absolutely. you can see, so this is what we've made earlier, Pali. And before you grab it, I'm gonna actually just go in with some fresh coriander. Okay. Now, one of the ingredients that some of the South Africans out there might have been missing today because it's curry week, is curry leaves. Yes. So I've gone in with some curry leaves here and that fragrance is just fantastic. Mm. Oh, love now, it. Now, Chef, what is it about curry leaves? A lot of people do omit it in their curries. Is that kind of cheating? I don't think so. I think it, it, it also just depends on if you're able to get it. I like having them fresh. You can also get them dried. A lot of people actually have curry leaves growing in their gardens and they don't actually know, you yeah. know? Um, so it just adds, and Pali, you know, you can just smell it. Can you not smell it? Like yeah. the fragrance, the aromatics, and that's what a curry is all about, is using those aromatics to really not only, you know, envelop in a dish, but it's that, you know, smell that you, you, you smell in the home when, when someone's making curry. It's, it's about family, you know, and it's yeah. about creating stories through, through these dishes. A lot of these recipes have been passed down from family to family, and that's the joy of, of something like this. Stunning. Now, Chef, I'm about to add the magic touch, the Kasi magic touch. <laughs> I'm about to add one of these three sauces. Now, I want to find out from you, before I pick the sauce that I'm about to go in with, which magic flavor is your favorite? Okay, so any one of my friends who knows me, I'm a condiment kind of guy. Yeah. I love sauces, but 
when it comes to Cassie Magic, you know, I, I'm not ashamed to put all three on at a time. Okay. You know, I'm, I'm that type of guy. But if I had to choose for this dish, hot and spicy all the way. Hot and spicy. Yeah. Okay, let's see. I kind of also would have gone for hot and spicy, I'm not going to lie to you. But I'm going to kind of like play. I, I'm going to take that idea that you had with mixing it up. I'm going to add hot and spicy. And also, I'm also going to add some jalapeno and cheese because I also feel like the creaminess of that cheese is going to kind of balance out the hotness that's going to come out. But also, the jalapeno flavor is quite reminiscent of things that are hot. No, for sure. And you know, you know what this reminds me of? I remember as a kid, we would, we was, we would go to the takeout stand, the takeaway street food stand, get <laughs> chips in a bag. And then the lady serving us would always get upset with me because I would always want more than one sauce. Yes, that was me! <laughs> was that you as well? They'd always make us pay like two rand yes, extra. Yes, girl. But here, here, we, never fear when Kasi Magic is here because now we have all three options without having to pay anything more. Boom, and just like that, there goes our masala steak sandwich. How good does that look? Nailed it! Nailed it! <laughs> now that little magic can most definitely go a long way. Feed your hustle with the spirit of gassy flavour. To get your hands on this delicious recipe, head over to afternoonexpress.co.za. This looks so good, Chef! Right. This is the Let's go, Leba Feed. With cross and backles, gassy magic sauces. Available in cheese, hot and spicy, and jalapeno and cheese.